Oh, even more great news for gamers. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by the Fopo S16. The Fopo S16 is a 13.3 inch dual monitor setup that can be attached to nearly any laptop, allowing you to use three screens for maximum productivity. Personally, this is a concept I've always dreamed of, and to see it finally working is absolutely mind blowing because now I can simply throw this in a bag with my laptop and not have to worry about being limited by only one tiny screen when I'm trying to get some work done on the go. And not only does the Fopo S16 work great, but it's compatible with a wide range of laptops thanks to its mini HDMI and dual type C connections. So if you're looking for a great portable monitor setup to use on the go and you want to support the channel, be sure to click the link in the description below. Well, it looks like it's been yet another great week for gamers as it looks like the biggest GPU flood yet may have just happened. Now, what exactly am I talking about? Well, in order to figure that out, we first have to go ahead and take a look at the Ethereum network as it looks like a very sharp drop in difficulty just occurred. And this actually has a ton of significance because if you go ahead and you take a look at Ethereum, well, Ethereum was the main currency that people were mining with GPUs and one of the main reasons as to why you couldn't actually get one for a reasonable price for over a year and a half. And so actually one big contributing factor as to whether or not you're able to make money on Ethereum is the overall difficulty. When the difficulty goes up, it means you're going to make less money. And when the difficulty goes down, it means that you're likely going to make more money. And if we go ahead and we take a look at the Ethereum difficulty right now, you can see that yes, indeed, it has had a significant drop off. Now, you might be a little bit concerned because as I just mentioned, a drop off in difficulty would actually contribute to a higher amount of money that you would be able to make on your GPUs, making it that much more profitable to mine. However, this is actually good news because what this signals to me is that more and more miners are selling as the actual profits themselves continue to drop as the price of Ethereum continues to drop. And we also have to keep in mind that proof of stake is on the horizon as well. So if we go ahead and we take a closer look, we can see that at one point it was as high as 15p and now it's actually around 12p, which is actually a 20% drop in the difficulty overall. Now, the last time that I checked, it looked like it was actually only around a 10% drop. So it looks like we've seen yet another 10% drop since the last time I checked this. And this is actually very significant because what this means to me is that roughly around 20% of miners have gone ahead and sold their GPUs as it's starting to look like mining profitability is going to stay low for a very long time. Some of those are showing up on the markets right now, especially over in China. It seems like things are getting really, really cheap. However, a lot of these cards might not have actually fully hit the market quite yet. So we're going to be seeing even more GPUs hitting the market at lower and lower prices as there's even less and less demand and more supply as even more miners continue to offload their GPUs. And hopefully this trend does continue because like I mentioned earlier, yes, as more and more miners sell, the profitability is technically going to go up, but that's only going to last for a short period of time until proof of stake hits. And it's just going to make it so that more cards are available to you on the second hand market, driving more competition and even lower prices. So that is absolutely fantastic news for gamers. And overall, if we go ahead and we take a look at the price of GPUs on this chart that I've been putting together since all the way back in April, first taking a look at the Nvidia GPUs, they started off at a price new of $815 on average when taking a look at the 3060 through the 3080 12 gigabyte. However, if we fast forward to the month of July, we can see they dropped all the way down to $573, which is actually nearly a $300 drop in the price of Nvidia GPUs on average. That is absolutely staggering. Then taking a look at the new AMD GPUs, including the 6600 through the 6900 XT, we can see that all the way back in April 1st, they started off at $742 on average, and then fast forward to July, and they're all the way down to $533, meaning that yes, once again, it's looking like there's been over a $200 drop on average when taking a look at new AMD GPUs. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the used prices, as here's where things get even more interesting. First, taking a look at NVIDIA, we can see that starting off on June 17th, the NVIDIA GPUs were actually $557 on average, and they actually did hit a low of $514 on June 24th. So it's actually very, very impressive. But taking a look now at the used AMD GPUs, these things are getting really, really cheap. Actually, all the way back in June 17th, they were as low as $489. Then they dropped to $472 on June 24th. And then taking a look at July 1st, they dropped as low as $467 on average, which is a massive drop when you compare them to the new prices all the way back in April. So yeah, overall, it's looking like GPU prices are getting way, way cheaper every single week that goes by. You know, there are some ups and downs, but overall, the trend is just to go way, way lower. And as more and more miners continue to sell their GPUs over on places like eBay, it's only going to continue to get cheaper and cheaper, which is going to be great news for gamers. But you know what? You might be asking the question, should I buy a new GPU or a used GPU? And I think it's honestly going to depend because as you saw in my chart, when you take a look at AMD, the used GPUs are way, way cheaper. However, taking a look at Nvidia, that's not necessarily always the case. And I think it's really going to come down to what GPU you're going to buy. Now, I will say just as a disclaimer, there are a couple 
GPUs that I would go ahead and definitely avoid buying on the used market. Basically, any RTX 3090 is going to be a hard pass. Now, the 3090 Ti, if the price is right, could be a decent purchase, but I'm going to say avoid the 3090 because the memory on the back just got way, way too hot, and if people were mining on that, it was definitely blasting way past the 95 degree limit that it was supposed to be at. Also, there are certain RTX 3080 models I maybe would avoid used as well. It's going to depend, so you're going to have to do some research on just how hot they got, but I know for sure one that I had that got way too hot with the memory was going to be that EVGA like hybrid uh, water-cooled one. That one had the memory getting even in gaming. I was seeing over 90 degrees Celsius, so if you're mining on it, yes, it was going to be blasting well past 110, maybe even 120 degrees Celsius, which is definitely going to degrade the memory and could cause some issues for you. The other thing I'm going to mention is if you're buying used, make sure that it's covered by warranty, make sure that the seller's good, and make sure it's in good condition. And if you do all that, honestly, yes, I do think buying used is a great option because it's a good way for you to kind of stick it to NVIDIA who stuck it to you for a year and a half by not doing more when they probably could have to stop their GPUs from getting in the hands of miners. But some GPUs that I do recommend you get, uh, first, let's go ahead and take a look at new. I did see an RX 6700 XT for as low as $420 new, 6600 XT for 360 and a 6600 for 300 Those are actually really great prices for those GPUs, and those GPUs really aren't going to be replaced anytime soon, even when the new cards are released. So you probably are going to get at least a year of usage out of these things before they're officially replaced. Then taking a look at the used market, some great GPU prices I saw were the 3060 Ti for $390, an awesome price. 6700 XT for $390 as well, 6600 XT for $300, and the RX 6600 for $250. So overall, yes, I do recommend a lot of these used GPUs, especially when you're saving like $50 to $200, but again, make sure you're using good practices when buying over on eBay so that you don't get scammed. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think it's worth buying a used GPU, or do you think you should just go ahead and wait for the RTX 40 series? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.